the same amount of blame that you would assess to any other superstar and, and any any the amount of the level of blame that you would assess to the greatest player on the planet currently is what Kevin Durant deserves. Oh, you mean Lagon? Whoa, whoa, whoa. Hold what? on, Skip. It's not your turn. It's my turn. Well, I don't need no, 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 no. It's my turn. Mm. Let me speak because mm. I'm going to turn the floor over to you. Mm. The way that you assign a superstar, mm. the best player on the planet has been established by one Skip Bayless. Mm. And it happened in game one against the Golden State Warriors when LeBron James was 51, 8, and 8. And Skip Bayless said, you got you to gotta make the, oh, you got to do all this, yada, yada, yada. And in overtime, LeBron James didn't take a single, single shot. Well, Kevin Durant in overtime was 0 for 6. And he airballed the last shot. And I need to know why. You mm. see what happens is everybody was quick to jump on the bandwagon. Kevin Durant is the best player on the planet on Tuesday because he had a historic performance. And there's no denying that. But they asked him to do it again. And he didn't. They asked him to do it again, and he couldn't. Mm. Do you see what they asked Kevin Durant to do over the last three games? And let me say one more thing before all this gets lost, and I don't want all of this, none of this to get lost. Mm. Kevin Durant, the best player on the planet, had a 2 nothing lead over Giannis. This is not a super team. Giannis Antetokounmpo is a superstar, but this isn't a super team. You talk about how bad Trey Young shot, I'll, ha I'll, hey, I'll see you, Trey Young, and I'll raise your true holiday. Mm. Oh, okay. Mm, exactly. Shot 36%. Is that 36 better than the 39? Oh, I didn't think so. But mm. anyway, back to my originally scheduled programming. At the end of the day, it's about superstars. That's what Skip Bayless always tell me. Superstars run this game. And if, if the guy is what you said he is, he should be able to do that. Now, Tuesday, we, we're talking about Jeff Greenhead was uh, eight, or, 8 or 9 from the three-point line. All Skip Bayless want to talk about was boom and boom right between y'all 49, 17, and 10. Mm -hmm. They say, you know what, KD? Since Kyrie is out and James Harden is still hobbled, mm -hmm. we need you to replicate that again. Mm -hmm. We need you to do what teams have asked LeBron James to do for 18 years. So what you saw on Tuesday for Kevin Durant over one game, mm -hmm. we've asked LeBron to do that. Mm. His entire career, series after series, mm. playoff after playoffs, and he's done it. And when he starts to wear down at the end of the game and he doesn't come through, you don't give him a pass. Mm. So with that being said, unfortunately, Skip Bayless, mm. I'm not going to be able to give your guy a pass, Kevin Durant, in this. Mm. They lost this game mm. on his home court, mm. which I told you he would. Mm. After having a 2-0 lead, has LeBron James ever had a 2-0 lead mm. and blown it? Mm. Is it simple, yes or no? Mm. No, 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 no. Yes or no, Skip? I don't know. You I do know. Did you, you must have looked it up. No comment. He no had all those cakewalks through the East for all oh, those years. So what you got, Skip? Skip, you got to think about, think about what you got here. Mm. This is easy. He was going to have it. He was about to get Trey Young. Mm. He was about to get a banged up Clippers. He could possibly get a banged up Clippers. LeBron was injured. All these injuries, everything was set up perfect for him. Except he lost his other two runs. We don't mates. do it. No, no. He's oh. the best player on the planet. He is, and he proved it by far How? times ten he once going again. Home. Speaking of going home, <laughs> what what did ever happen to LeBron? I don't know. Is he coming back next year? Only thing, only thing. He got a head start. Cause guess where KD is? The same place as LeBron. Shannon, you have my sympathy. No, LeBron I don't. flamed out in the first round against the Phoenix Suns. You got flamed out in the second yeah. round. Okay. With a two zero lead. My guy had the biggest liability I have ever seen oh. in playoff games named James Harden, who has a checkered past in playoff games, oh as we well know, because they're still looking for him in Houston from that night in that closeout game six that my Spurs went to Houston, and James Harden was an absolute calamity. He couldn't do anything anywhere, and my Spurs won by 40-something points that night in a okay. closeout at Houston. He has a track record of disappearing. But this was way worse than disappearing because clearly James Harden was playing on what they all claim to be a pulled hamstring. How do you play 53 minutes? For, so I watched three straight games, and, and Saturday night he played 53 minutes. That's, that's all the minutes, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. That's the whole game. He yeah. played every minute just the way Kevin Durant played every minute. And you know what I nicknamed him during the game? He was Logo James. It's not because he was shooting from the logo. 
He was dribbling on the logo half the night or picking up the ball and holding the ball on the logo, looking for Kevin Durant so he could lob him some dangerous loopy pass <laughs> at the end of the clock so that Kevin Durant could try to take P.J. Tucker off the dribble with four seconds left on the shot clock. It happened again and again and again. It felt like James Harden was building a statue to himself, of himself, on the floor during the game because he played like so a statue. Hard fought me long. He was a cardboard cutout. He should not have played 53 minutes because he was a disaster. Mm. He held the ball so long, he put them in so many late clocks, he had no burst, he couldn't dribble by anybody. You could put your worst defender on him because he could not get into the paint. And when he did occasionally by accident find himself in the paint, he was like, I don't know what I should do. Maybe I should just lob this up in the air and hope it goes in the bucket. And he made a couple of lucky shots, but his three-point shots weren't shots. They were throws. He had to actually, like, throw his three-point shots. And he managed to go 5 of 17 from the floor and 2 of 12 from three. Are you kidding me? Mm -hmm. It's horrendous. And there was one potential saving grace. A kid who once upon a time won the three-point shootout on All-Star oh! Saturday night named Joe Harris. What happened? And Joe Harris was an even bigger disaster because the stage was too big for Joe Harris. He finally got to this moment, and he had nothing but wide-open shots. After if, shot, yeah, after if, shot. If we could see the final <laughs> one that knocked me right off my couch, because this, is, the, this is for the marbles. With 59? This, this is to put them up three in overtime. Up three with 56 seconds left in overtime. It's just wide open. He shot it flat. It barely got to the rim. It was just horrendous. If we could see it one more time, KD gets blocked by Brooke Lopez, but they get the rebound and give it back. That was Jeff Green kicking it for a wide open three. By the way, speaking of Jeff Green, who scored 27 points in game five, he took no shots on Saturday night. No know. shots and scored no points. Let's get up here at the thing. Look how, look how little he played. What is Steve Nash thinking about? I don't know. He played... 13 minutes. Thank you. But you took no shots in 13 minutes. I have no idea how that happened. Skip. The thing is, is that, first of all, Kevin Durant played the third most minutes he'd ever played over three games uh, uh, period in his career. Remember that overtime series they went in 2014, but KD was 25. So you play in 48 minutes. You play in 40 minutes. You play in 53 minutes. And Skip, there were games during the season in which Kevin Durant and James Harden was logging a lot of minutes. And we... Uh, that was one series against Boston, Skip. Remember, he left them in trying to send a message that they played 40 minutes when they didn't need to play 40 minutes. Okay, I give you that. All right, so it comes down to this. In regulation, Kevin Durant goes for 40 points, 40 more points with 13 rebounds and five assists and threw in uh, another block shot because he was guarding Giannis much of the night. Yeah. He just said, I got him. I'm seven feet tall. I can do this. Right. And... He, that's in, obviously, the 48 minutes, and then we get to overtime. He had 48 think, minutes. In, yes. He had 48 points 40, in 48 minutes. Yes, correct. So the point was – I'm sorry, I'm looking at Giannis's line. It's, yeah. it's 48 points with 11 rebounds. Mm -hmm. That's right. And he had a block shot and a steal. Okay, so the point is we get to overtime, and Kevin Durant is clearly – absolutely gassed. No, you no, no. Michael Jordan yeah. would never be gassed. What? Kobe Bryant would never be gassed. You told me superstars can't be gassed because I've said that about LeBron and you said it can't be. So no, that can't be an excuse. I, I, Try again. I thought you thought that he was no, gassed No, no, no. Skip, but you know, oh. this ain't about what I said. Oh. I'm going by what you, you the godfather of this. I take my cues from you. You mm -hmm. said superstars mm -hmm. can't get fatigued. Yep. So Michael Jordan, Kobe Bryant, and remember, we just had a topic last week. The greatest score of all time, Kevin Durant. So you can't use fatigue as an excuse because you never gave that excuse to LeBron James. This the best player on the planet can't get tired. Go ahead. He is the best player on the planet. So he can't get tired. 48 more points, and he takes a shot at the end of regulation that's one of the great clutch shots in the history of professional basketball. And unfortunately, if we could see it one more time, he just doesn't quite get his toes beyond the three-point line. I thought it was game over. I thought I when he shot you. it, it was good. And I'm celebrating until I see the video. And the, I official, see, the official right on top of his well, he did. Obviously, he got his toes right, just barely. It's not even an inch on the line. It's maybe Crazy. a half inch of toe on the black line. Right. That's how close it was to you being cooked. Yeah. You're, you're over, and he made the shot, and that's all he had left. Well, and well, again, maybe he's, he was playing 
a, a very good team. He was playing one on five the whole night. You know it, and I know it. But you, he had no help from nobody. Skip, no help. But Skip, hold on. When LeBron played against KD and he had that 51 8 and 8, you didn't say that. You mm. said he had him dead to right. So mm. I don't want to hear that he played 105 because we've seen LeBron do that numerous, numerous mm. times. Mm. And you never gave him that out. Did he not shoot the shot and make the late clutch shot that LeBron rarely makes? That rarely? That rarely the playoff makes. says LeBron is the, is the greatest oh, really? shooter in NBA history. Uh. That's what the playoff, that's what the numbers say, Skip. Since LeBron entered the league, nobody has missed more late and close shots or free throws than LeBron James. So I don't know. Well, who's, yeah. been, who's entered mm. the league at the same? Skip. Who's the, played the most playoff minutes ever? LeBron. Oh, it's LeBron James. But the oh. number, Skip, you say you mm. like numbers mm. because when pro football focus throws numbers out there, you love them. Mm. So I'm just giving you numbers. The numbers say LeBron James is the best clutch shooter in playoff history. No. That's what the numbers say. They do not. That's what the numbers say. Read it. He yeah. the highest percentage of clutch shots, game time or game or, or to don't, take don't the lead. Don't get me started on how many times he has passed up a late shot or getting fouled a la Ben Simmons because I don't want to have to go shoot uh, those uh, free whoa, throws. Whoa, 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 whoa. He's no, actually a worse late game free throw shooter than Ben Simmons Stop is. doing that, Skip. Don't well, he just did. No, no. no, this ain't about Ben Simmons. Well, well, this is about Kevin okay. Durant. Well, and about, your guy didn't no, get it done. it's about LeBron James. No, no. You, your, you're the one who started on LeBron your James. Your guy didn't get it done. Your guy had a 2-0 lead. He is the best player on the planet okay, because you saw game five. Nobody could have kept this team in this series because – that, I, I don't even know what they're doing. Why, why don't you play DeAndre Jordan against Giannis a little bit? Just a little bit it, to bother him. It, they didn't play Claxton. They didn't they, play anybody. Skip. They didn't play anybody. But, but, they went small as you can go. It, it doesn't matter, Skip. If you got the best player on the planet, they could have trotted out Caruso mm -hmm. or Caruso mm -hmm. or whomever or mm -hmm. James. It does not matter. That's what you keep telling me about LeBron. Mm -hmm. I'm telling you about JR. I'm telling you about Della Vadova. Mm -hmm. I'm telling you about Mozgov. Mm -hmm. You said that he's the best player on the planet. Oh, he he's got to win. Kevin Durant as the best player on the planet with a 2-0 lead has got to bring it home, and he got game seven on his home court. He gave you two virtuosos, two all-timers in game five and game seven. Skip. And he made the one of the great clutch shots ever. And unfortunately, it only tied because he barely had his tippy toes on the black. Hold on. If it's, if it's just a quarter of an inch back, even if it looks like they're raised up above the black, you're done. Skip. We saw LeBron James mm -hmm. average a triple double for the entirety of the finals. And you said I thought it was this no wasn't good. about LeBron James. No, 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 no. That's what you no, said. no, I, no, no, no. Mm. We saw LeBron average a triple double. Mm -hmm. And you said it didn't matter. Mm -hmm. You Kevin Durant had two historic games. It shouldn't matter. He lost. That's what everybody tells me. LeBron lost. It doesn't matter what he does. Your guy, the best player on the planet, had a 2 0 lead. Forget everything else. He had a 2-0 lead, and he lost it. Here's Kevin Durant's numbers for seven games against one of the best defensive teams in professional basketball, a team in Milwaukee that is heavily favored to beat Atlanta, which I'm sure it will because it's just better than the Atlanta Hawks are. That team, again, going one-on-five with KD, he goes 35-11-5 in those seven games. 35-11-5 and five assists with two steals a game and a block a game. That's best player on the planet. Skip, we, I've never seen anything quite like it. There's I have, nothing like I it. I have. Skip, I saw LeBron James average 36, 13, and 9. Mm. I've seen him do that against the Golden State Warriors, who was higher-rated defensively at the time than the Milwaukee Bucks. I saw him do it against Toronto. I saw LeBron James average 34, 8, and 8, not for a series, the entire se the mm. entire playoffs. And you never gave You're him credit. you talking about 2015? I did give him credit. It's the best. I've, no, no. I've told you a thousand times the first three games are the best I've ever seen him play. And we get to game four in his house. And just because they put Igadala on him, he just shrinks. Oh, and he so goes he, seven of Kevin, 22. Kevin, Kevin he goes Durant five of so 10. Kevin Durant shrunk. LeBron goes five of 10 from the free throw line in that game four in 2015 yeah. in his house. Think about it. How can you do that and they 30, get blown off the floor? 30. 36, 13, and 9. Mm. He shrunk, but Kevin Durant stood tall. With a, so think about what you just said, Skip Bayless. You said LeBron James shrunk with a 2-1 lead. Mm. Your guy had a 2-0 lead. Mm. Well, it went home and home because Milwaukee's really good at home. Okay, what happened in game seven on your court? That's mm -hmm. what I need you to tell me. Mm -hmm. Now, don't mention Jeff Green played 13 minutes and then take a shot. I don't want to hear anything about else. Talk about your guy not bringing it home. 48 points happened in regulation, <laughs> and a great clutch shot happened at the end of regulation, and it's what all he had time? left. What it's all no, he had no, no, left. No, 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 he had no, no, played no. every single minute. 
Wait, help me out. Has LeBron ever played a whole playoff game of every yes. single minute? Yes. At, including overtime? I, you know, actually, at what Kevin Durant did mm. that last third, uh, what, that mm -hmm. last Tuesday mm -hmm. when he played every single minute, yep. LeBron, James, LeBron James did that in the uh, conference finals against the Boston Celtics mm. every single minute. Mm. Everybody got a triple double. But I don't want to talk about him. Mm. I'm talking about your guy. No, nah, talking, I got that's you. That's all you're talking about no, is LeBron because James. I, Skip, I told and you. Shannon, I'm sorry. I, I, I wish I could help get him back in the playoffs for you, but I can't. Well, can, can you get Kevin? He's Let me ask you a question. Can you get KD back in the playoffs? Mm. Nope. Why I not? not? Because he barely tippy toed yeah, on no, the line. Yeah, That's all. No, barely tippy toes. Yeah, you told me. Did the ball go in? Yeah. Did you not sit back and say the best player did it again? I remember in <laughs> that very game when LeBron had 51, 8, and 8. He mm. had 49 points at the end of regulation. And you said he didn't do anything. Mm. Now, I want you to tell me, how many points did Kevin Durant have at the end of regulation? Mm -hmm. And how many points did he end with? Mm -hmm. And tell me why he didn't add to that total. Go. He hit the wall. He'd been playing every minute of every game and having to do everything, including guarding Giannis. <laughs> guarding Giannis. Skip, hold on. Let me, let me get right, this. Is the, let's get this in perspective. This is the same Kevin Durant who in back-to-back -back years in game threes at mm -hmm. LeBron's house just beat the hell out of him. Just shot it right in it's his a, face. It's in amazing. Game three. And guess what? Kevin Durant won the MVP of both those series. Yeah, but you see the difference? You see the difference when KD won MVP Ooh. and he got Steph Curry averaging 28 oh. and he got Klay Thompson averaging 22 and he got Draymond Green running everything. So, you know, I'm not then, talking about what he did with well, Steph. Why Clay. did that whole team fly out to the Hamptons on July the 3rd to try to recruit Kevin Durant on July the 4th to come save us? Why do you keep bringing up that Draymond ran into the parking lot fled in the parking lot crying because calling it, Kevin Durant because, you gotta come save because us because everything I say is true they did go search mm -hmm. him out they yep. did but guess what he joined them because they could offer something that he could not get without them mm. until he does it everybody's still going to say Kevin Durant needed a super team mm. that's factual mm. So now I need you to tell me again. Mm -hmm. Now I don't want to hear anything about the best player being tired yep. because that is concessions that you've never made for any other great player. You said Kobe. You said Jordan never get tired. LeBron James as the best player can't get tired. Why are you making game these concessions? Game four. Really? Game four, 2015. All I heard on ESPN all day long the day after was LeBron just got too tired. No, 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 no. Got, that, that's all I heard. No, no, you. No, I don't know. No, no. This is you. I don't, okay. know, I, I, don't, yeah. I don't know what was heard. As a matter of fact, my TV went out that day. The day you talking mm -hmm. about, my yeah. TV went out, so yeah. I didn't hear what they said. Okay. I heard what you said before yeah. it went out. Now, I'm going to talk about you. Mm -hmm. The fatigue. Why does Kevin Durant get an opportunity to get fatigued when no other great historic, Kobe, Michael, and LeBron, never got that? Why does he get it? He just hit the wall because he had to do it for three straight games, play every minute for three straight games, and they're coming every other night, and he hit the wall because he thought, I got this with my clutch shot, and that was all he had left. That, so, and he might need just a touch of help, and the Bucks weren't much better in the, the overtime, were they? But they... Giannis kind of lucked in a little shot, a little in the lane. Over KD? Yeah, he just lucked it in. It bounced all around the rim and so, accidentally so fell if in. If you don't mind me asking, Skip, is this a new, mm -hmm. is this a new playoff format mm -hmm. where they play playoff games every other day? Mm -hmm. Or have they been doing this for the longest time? Well, all I don't right. know. When LeBron was in the finals, uh, it seemed like they'd get eight days don't off. Do that, don't do that, Skip. Don't that do that, Skip. Skip. That's, that's, yeah. that's so yeah. unbecoming. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, guys, I saw this story circulating on mm -hmm. social media. It might make you crazy, Skip. Apparently, Kevin Durant does wear a full-size bigger on the court to achieve that feather-like feeling. Uh, that was a story from Chris Harry yeah. a couple of years ago. Mm. He wears one size bigger, guys. If he hadn't been wearing that size shoe, maybe the entire game would have looked He'd like to be comfortable. Mm. Yeah, but that's a crazy thought. That much of a difference. I don't know if that helps or hurts LeBron us, but I thought that was, was really interesting. Oh. Thank you for watching. You can subscribe here to get the latest from the show and be sure to check out more of the best clips from Undisputed or go watch a few other segments from our other shows on FS1.